Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat where today I bring you news that the next iPad, which is due to be announced in March at Apple's event on March 15th, will not, as we all expected, be called the iPad Air 3, but will in fact be known as the iPad Pro 9.7. So no more iPad Airs, what do we think about that? Well, it's not particularly surprising, I don't think, considering the next iPad will probably include many of the current iPad Pro's features like the A9X processor, quad speakers, and Apple Pencil support. So it would have seemed a bit odd to have an iPad Air 3 with basically the same specs as the iPad Pro, but obviously with a smaller 9.7 inch display, but use a different naming convention. It also kind of makes sense from a marketing standpoint as well to rebrand uh, the standard iPad as a new, more portable iPad Pro to help reinvigorate the tablet market, because uh, I'm sure you know that iPad sales are continuing to weaken. I think it's fair to say most of us would like to be able to do more work on our tablets, have them be a bit more useful, which is sort of why Apple targeted the iPad Pro at both content creators and content consumers uh, with support for things like the Apple Pencil accessory. Uh, so I think Apple wants to move away from the just have an iPad left on the coffee table to browse the web and uh, play Candy Crush or something like that to a bit more sort of uh, laptop replacement sort of like a hybrid to compete more with the Surface Pro which you can kind of get more work done on. I actually still use the first iPad Air because I didn't think the Air 2 was really a big upgrade. It's a bit slimmer, a little bit faster, and it did introduce Touch ID, but I personally didn't really feel that was worth an upgrade. So I'm actually quite looking forward to the prospect of an iPad Pro 9.7 with a faster processor, more RAM, and kind of importantly for me, support for accessories like the Apple Pencil and keyboard dock. So it looks like, according to the reports, that by the end of March, you'll be able to go into an Apple store and choose between uh, an iPad Mini 4, an iPad Pro 9.7, uh, an iPad Pro 12.9. So it's probably only a matter of time before they rebrand the Mini as the iPad Pro 7.9 as well. But if all the iPads are called the iPad Pro, then you think to yourself, maybe they should just drop the Pro entirely. But then again, I bet Apple's marketing department really are keen on people associating the iPad as a Pro device, something used by professionals. Of course, everything will be revealed during Apple's uh, upcoming event on March 15th, where they also probably unveil the Apple Watch 2 and also the new iPhone 5SE. Uh, so do stay subscribed to the Tech Chat for all the latest updates on Apple products. But the the big question of course is would you buy an iPad Pro 9.7? Do let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please do like and subscribe and I'll catch you again right here on the Tech Chat.